planet Earth, where the most amazing animals are discovered each day. And being part of our homely planet, we're excited to have them with us. And as we travel to the far reaches of space, there must be other planets with their own amazing creatures waiting to be discovered. I wonder if we'll find any on the Clangers planet. Ah, here are tiny and small. On the way to fetch soup, no doubt. What a warm welcome from the soup dragon. Lots of soup for hungry clangers. What could be better? Yes, what a peculiar noise. Apparently the froglets have been making that noise all morning. But tiny and small don't think it sounds like a froglet. They're going to investigate. What's the matter with the froglets? Oh, I say, they have a new visitor. It looks almost the same as a froglet, but different. Tiny and small introduce themselves. I wonder if it understands them. Ah, so that's where the strange noise comes from. I think it wants to play with the other froglets. Oh dear, I don't think the other froglets are so sure. This will never do. Poor thing. How very like a clangor to befriend a new froglet in need. Tiny and small explain that the other froglets didn't want to play with it. Maybe it looks a bit odd for a froglet. Well, the soup dragon really likes the new froglet and is rather taken with the noise it makes. <laughs> Here's baby soup dragon. Any excuse for a hug with this one? Hmm, the other froglets may be unsure, but they're fascinated by the new froglet. Ah, how sweet. That was a very high jump indeed. I do hope it's all right. Ah, no harm done. Those other froglets seem to be getting more and more intrigued. Ah yes, it's time to get the soup back to the living cave. How kind of the soup dragon telling the new froglet it's welcome back in the soup wells any time it wants. The froglets really are interested in the new froglet now. Very interested indeed. Mother, Major and Granny are preparing for the arrival of soup. Oh, <laughs> 
Well, that's a warm welcome from everyone. The froglets really are very interested indeed. And now it's time for the soup. Ah, yes, a place at the table for their new guest. Oh, how kind. Tiny is offered to share her soup with the froglet. Granny says froglets don't like soup, but it looks very happy to be asked. Small explains how the other froglets didn't seem keen to be its friend. Yes, it is very sad. Major's right. The Clangers planet is a harmonious place where everyone lives happily together. Exactly, like the soup dragon who shares her soup. Tiny wants to show the froglets how different creatures do get along on their planet. Oh, what a wonderful tune! Ah, now the music trees are accompanying her, playing together. Well, Tiny is certainly gaining an audience. And here are the singing flowers. The singing flowers are joining in perfectly with Tiny's wonderful melody. And the sky moves. This really is a tune that brings everyone together. Yes, sing up everyone. Even the froglets are joining in now. Wow, will you look at that? Bravo! Oh, indeed. I think they're going to get along. Yes, what a heartwarming sight. All together, as they should be. Yes, all friends together. <laughs> Thanks to Tiny and Small, the new froglet was finally accepted by the other froglets. So it wasn't a new froglet anymore. It was a froglet. <laughs>